Last one, make it count, nice and slow. Slow on the way down, slow, 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 slow. One. An hour into his physical therapy session at Children's Hospital, 14-year-old Alex is spent. His look of gritty determination makes it clear he's not ready to quit, not ready to give up. Tired? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. This ordeal for Alex began almost a year ago. Last summer, during a family vacation in Michigan, when some aggravating pain in his right knee became so bad he could not walk. He had some knee pains we thought were growing pains. It was just in so much pain. If it hurts that bad, I need to call the doctor. Which his parents, Fred and Mary, did when they returned to their home in Belleville. The diagnosis, not what they expected. Osteocarcinoma, cancer of the bone. Fred took the call from the doctor and broke the news to Mary. And he said to me, it's Alex. At that point, I didn't know what he was going to say. And he said that he got a call from Memorial that Alex has cancer. And as soon as he said cancer, I just started screaming. I didn't know how I could tell my son how he might not survive. Doctors believed chemotherapy would effectively attack the cancer in his swollen knee. Alex would lose his hair and waste away to 89 pounds. Doctors thought a knee replacement was the best course of action, but the chemo did not work. The cancer kept growing. A week before surgery to give Alex an artificial knee, doctors decided his best chance of survival now was to amputate his leg. And as a parent, you know, when you see your child with two legs and then one day they lose it, it's heartbreaking because there's nothing you can do to change it. Now Fred and Mary would need to figure out a way to get Alex an artificial leg. The prosthesis needed to help Alex walk again. But with Fred unemployed, the costs were prohibitive. Once they said the cost of that and the prosthetic, I couldn't believe it. Which really, it was almost $20,000. The family insurance, through Mary's job, would only cover $2,500. That's when Variety entered the picture. My daughter had told me of a customer that came in and said that this gentleman recommended that I contacted Variety. This guy said they can cover your, the cost of the leg. And I thought, who does this? It would be Diane Gruska from Variety who put the wheels in motion to get Alex his new leg. And she said, let me get this process for you as soon as possible, because we need to get Alex walking. So I went back to work. And I kid you not, I thought I was gonna have to wait maybe six weeks, six months before we could get approval. And it was two hours. And Variety would cover the entire cost. Variety was gonna take care of his leg and take care of him. I just couldn't believe it. I had no idea that they were even gonna be able to do something like that. As a parent, you feel like you win the lottery. It was, it was a great gift. Nice and slow. One. Alex, as well as his dad and mom, know without variety he would probably still be using crutches. And they know too, as Alex grows through his teenage years, he will most likely need more than one new prosthesis. Variety, as it always has, will be there to be sure he gets whatever he needs to keep Alex walking. I know everything I've gone through and how hard it is, and I just want to look past it. I'll remember it, but I want there to be something bigger and better in my life. He's come a long way, and he's been able to do a lot. And I'm so proud of him, I'm so proud of him. The goals for Alex would be biking, 
number one, then running, and then roller skating again. I think I can do it.